I'm Dr. R. Duke Majin, CEO and founder of the Duke Spine Institute. I'm here today to talk to you about the use of drugs to treat chronic back pain, specifically a drug called gabapentin, also known to many of you as Neurontin. The use of drugs to treat chronic back pain has escalated over the years. The problem is most doctors treating back pain do not know the source of back pain and therefore they cannot offer you a definitive cure to the back pain. Instead, they prescribe treatments that just try to cover up the back pain either temporarily with medication or injections. In this case, we're gonna talk about Neurontin or gabapentin. It's been a drug that's been available, FDA approved in the United States for about 30 years. Neurontin gabapentin was originally approved for the treatment of seizures. I started my career as a neurosurgeon treating seizures. So I was very familiar with this drug as a neurosurgeon, we do seizure surgery, epilepsy surgery. We can take out parts of the brain to reduce the frequency of seizures, or we can also add stimulators to the vagus nerve, for example, to reduce the frequency of seizures. But the most common treatment for seizures in the world are medications. So over the years, Neurontin gabapentin has shifted use away from treating seizures and into treating patients with chronic back pain. The problem is it has terrible side effects and it is not recommended for long-term treatment. Neurontin has now been proven to cause dementia. A study that was just published in Regional Anesthesia Pain Medication demonstrates that the risk of dementia following gabapentin or Neurontin prescription in chronic lower back pain patients is at least two times higher in young adults most patients that received gabapentin were receiving chronic back pain treatment from their pain management doctors. And the paper showed that gabapentin, which is widely used to treat chronic pain, is associated with cognitive decline and dementia. Now, for those of you who don't know what dementia is, dementia is difficulty thinking, all right? We know dementia as memory problems, but it also affects language. So it's either language difficulty, memory difficulty, or any kind of impairment of higher function of the brain, such as planning or organizing your day, getting things done. This result of the study, if you look at the 26,416 adults that were analyzed in the study, they showed that six or more prescriptions of gabapentin, Neurontin, had an increased incidence of dementia that was significant. In other words, compared to people not taking Neurontin, these patients who had six or more prescriptions had significantly higher incidence of dementia. Now, dementia, folks, is a permanent problem that affects the brain. It's not temporary. It's not something like a side effect that goes away. This is permanent dementia. So there's permanent damage being done, at least according to this research, to the brain as a result of taking Neurontin gabapentin for back pain and neck pain. As a matter of fact, when you start looking at non-elderly adults, that basically means young people, somewhere in the age of, say, 20, up to about in their 50s, it showed that there was over twice the risk of dementia. The relative risk was 2.10 with a 95% confidence interval. So basically, if you're young and you're on gabapentin neurontin for back pain, your doctor prescribed it to you, you have over a two times higher risk of developing dementia. That's significant, folks. It's a real finding. It's not just something that's imaginary, it's real. So basically, the more you take this drug, the more likely you're gonna end up having dementia. Again, drugs are not the answer for back pain. What's the answer for chronic back pain? Number one, the right diagnosis helps. If you don't have the right diagnosis, you can't have the right treatment. The right diagnosis of back pain is easy. If you just look here at Duke Spine Institute, we offer a free MRI review to anyone with back or neck pain. We will tell you on a Zoom call as we review your MRI with you at the end of the call, you will get your diagnosis of what's causing your back or neck pain. And more importantly, we'll show you a path to eliminating the back and neck pain permanently. It's possible here at Duke Spine Institute. We're the first in the world to offer permanent cures to back and neck pain, no medication needed, no injections needed. We go in, we target the source of pain with one procedure, you come out and that pain is gone. 
and we've been doing this now for 20 years using our proprietary treatments of the Duke Laser Disc Repair for discogenic back pain, the Duke Plasma Rhizotomy for facet back pain or sacroiliac joint back pain, and the Duke Piriformis Muscle Release for piriformis back pain. To learn more about these conditions, please visit our website or go to our YouTube channel and continue watching our podcasts on our Duke Spine Institute podcasts.